Medvedev insulted London. He called the government of Charles III morons. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev insulted London by calling representatives of the government of monarch Charles III morons. He spoke about this on Telegram. Medvedev said that if Britain and France continue to publicly bless the Ukrainian armed forces for the use of Storm Shadow, Scalp, e.g. missiles against Russia, Moscow will respond, adding, and practicing a response to such attacks is the goal of the planned exercises. And even His Royal Majesty's not fully educated morons should understand this. Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, commenting on the statement of British Foreign Minister David Cameron, who called on the West to continue to fight Putin to the bitter end, said this. Medvedev noted that he remembers Cameron well from the time when he served as head of the kingdom's government and created the impression of an ordinary shady Britain. According to the deputy chairman of the Russian Security Council, Cameron was then joyfully stupid and clearly reveled in his newly acquired high government position. At that time, he was not yet the patented Russophobe that he is now. Now holding the position of head of the British Foreign Office, Cameron has given the militants of the Kyiv regime the opportunity to shoot missiles supplied by London wherever they want. Medvedev emphasized, that the Storm Shadow Stroke Scalp EG missiles supplied to Kyiv are controlled not by the armed forces of Ukraine, but by the British and French who arrived in Ukraine and under certain circumstances, the answer for such actions will fly not only to Kyiv, but also to London and Paris, and not only with conventional explosives, but also with special ammunition. Such attacks will be practiced in planned exercises, and this should be understood even by not very smart British officials like Cameron, who calls to fight Putin, in other words, with Russia. Earlier, it was reported that France transferred long-range scalp missiles that were subject to disposal to the Ukrainian army, considering this a very effective economic solution.